Hello everyone, this is a full explanation about assignment, starting from the teacher, ending with the student. First of all, I'm going to show different types of assignment that we can add to our students. For example, if you've got a workbook and you want the student to add their work there, create an assignment, assign it to the class that you want to give it to, click next, put the title of the assignment, let's say English workbook page 12 open page 12 answer on on your workbook scan then attach your work So that's for the instructions, you assign the points, you put some rubrics if you want to, and then the class is assigned, all students, and set the due date for that, maybe tomorrow or after tomorrow, it's up to you. And then you click assign or save to keep it in draft for time. So this is in case the student wants to do it, has a workbook, copy from the workbook, and we will see later how they can do it. You can also assign a document Just put the title Writing Homework 1 Just set your own title Instruction Open the attached Word document then add your answers in it, return it after you're done. Then you add your resource, which is the Word document I was talking about. I will add a random one. Now when it's added, click done. Once it's here, if you want the student to edit inside the same document, you have to set it up from the beginning and students can edit their own copy. You have to check this box. All right, students edit their own copy or students can't edit. It's up to your assignment and you have to put in the instructions. What do you want the student to do? So this is it, assign it to all students. When is the due date? It would be this day and I will assign. Now we have two kinds of assignments. Let's see what the student will see. Now in the student's account, the student will be able to see his homework either from here or from here. And he will get also notifications on that. So, if he wants to get from here, it's okay, but I'd rather go straight to the assignment and check what's assigned. So, the student will be able to see two sections, the assigned section and the completed one. When the students click on the assigned section for each assignment, this page will show. He should be reading the instructions, what to do. Let's say the student already have done the homework and you can see from the tab, from the card up, how can the student scan his homework after finishing it from his uh, workbook. So I will add the work which I already prepared and scanned before. So the student has to add the work as per the instructions mentioned. So I added the work in a PDF file. Done. The work will be added here. Then the student should turn in the homework. When you go back to the assignment page, it will be completed. It will show to the student that this one is completed. So what's next? 
writing. As per the instruction, it says open the attached Word document, then add your work or your answer, sorry. So you, the student has to click in here. Let's open it. Since you are part of the organization, you'll be able to open it, but I'd rather you use a computer for that reason. It will be easier for everybody and much more clear. Add your work. Okay, I'll just fix it. Fine, so I finished. Close. Let's, let's make sure it's edited. Yes, it is edited. Then I close it. And then I click turn in. So it's done. I will go here and I will see that it's turned in. Now let's see the teacher. How can she, the teacher know that it's viewed and turned in? Now when the student finished turning in the, the assignment, the teacher will be able to see it from assignments and all the turned in assignments will appear here. Let's say I gave this homework, so I have one student in this class because it's a trial. Okay, so the student turned in, just click on turn in and let's see what did the student give. So this is the attached document and this is the turned in homework and it's scanned clearly as you saw the scanned um, video, how to scan it and make it clear for the teacher and for the student to get a better grade, of course. So the teacher will send the feedback and return. The student doesn't have to return it back again unless the teacher puts a note in the feedback. So that's it. Once it returned, you will see it under the returned area. And since we have nobody here to return the homework, we will see this in the returned section. It will show in a few minutes. Let's do this, the other one. Okay, again turn in and then I will see what the student have done. So the student added this to the homework as I explained and then you have to give feedback. Done. Return. That's it. You can put comments, you can edit. So it's up to you how do you want to use it eventually. Then you can close it. After that, if you go to the assignments again, refresh tabs, see it's under returned. If you click here and here again, it's under returned. I have two assignments under return. Now for your classes, if you want to see all your classes, is it turned in? Yes, it's turned in. Okay, for all the classes, for example, let's see an example here that I've got. Most of the class have returned it. So these are all returned and I gave them comments. Now I still have six not returned. I can check who viewed it and who didn't view it. After you check that, you will be able through time checking all of that. So it's basically, this is the whole process. Thank you very much.